What do you do when you are behind? This is a place full of institutions. You fix extra classes. That's the way you catch up. Is that true? Oh, yes. Extra classes. If you meet only once a week, for someone who is in time and on time, that's fine. But to someone who is behind, it was destined that by age 29, 25, 35, you should already be at the cutting edge of God's purposes for your life. Now you are 30, 35, 40, 25, 23, and you are behind. And the Holy Ghost is showing you, according to that divine clock, is two years left. And yet the healing anointing is not yet in your life. Yes, there are souls tied to your obedience and to that grace. You still are at the periphery of understanding the prophetic. You have still not understood the apostolic. You've still not understood signs and wonders. You've still not understood the dynamics of intercession. You've not understood what it means to be an apostle in the marketplace. Spoon feeding with one five minutes something in the morning oh i read my bible today and god is saying no no destiny is calling that means you must create extra time with god look at all the activities in your life now draw a graph activity versus result you will find out that over 60 percent of what we do are useless as far as destiny is concerned don't be afraid to cut them out and give god that time and say holy ghost let's hurry up because in life at the end of your life you will not do more than five or six things i assure you as busy as you look now as the busiest people on earth they don't do more than three or four things all these activities is a satanic way of distracting our generation this is one of the most distracted generation we are busy we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night there is no productivity you gist and gossip for five hours. That's your destiny counting. Then you sleep for ten hours. Not as a reward for anything you did. Then you don't learn. You now say, I'm supposed to watch two videos. While you go on YouTube, suddenly you find out there's one joke or something and you start watching. And before you know it, it's two hours. You are just laughing away and time is going. And the Holy Ghost keeps nudging you. Many of you know what I'm telling you. The Holy Ghost has been talking to you. Young lady, don't allow people to die because of your slow pace. There are people you are to finance. Until now, you've not even handled things around finances. There are crusades. It was destined that it's your resources that will finance them. Tonight is a wake up call. Playing, playing games with destiny, playing games with God's purposes, you must fold it now. It doesn't matter what church you come from, it does not matter what age you must be about. There is always there is a project. If you are unsaved, your project is to meet Jesus. Apostle, I came to receive miracles. Thank God you will get it. But the, your greatest need, more than education more than marriage more than children more than career more than job more than promotion the greatest need of any unbeliever is an encounter with jesus no matter what else you have if you have not had this encounter there is still trouble are you learning now so you see as a believer you know how to help people when you see people you can discern their level and know how to help them communicate the highest priority for them when someone is saved and you look at him the next thing you should be looking at for is le his level of transformation and you find out you've been saved when i was saved 1991 wow instead of dashing the person a shoe or dashing the person material to say look finer and greater it's wonderful but can i recommend some messages you want to give that person a birthday gift more than clothes go and get a flash help the person and arrange messages mental transformation finances spiritual growth give him as a birthday gift heaven will bless you you have moved that person's life forward then intercede for the person to take that flash dive seriously i'm showing you how to help people some of these mundane things we do and we waste time around 
someday that trumpet will sound whether we are ready or not i assure you let there be a sense of urgency in your life do you know the thing about destiny come gentlemen these guys everybody's destiny has another person connected to it if these guys were destined by god to move forward based on my apostleship and i fail i did not just fail two destinies have suffered because i did not go forward the question is who right now in this may is suffering because of your not praying forget about yourself who has gone to the grave today because your prophetic grace is not sharp enough which family is suffering now because according to the archives of the spirit it was you that was allotted their salvation and their deliverance tied to you a sense of urgency that the king's business requires haste there are some of us after this lecture tonight you should make up your mind go and sit down buy a new notebook spiritual growth get a ruler mental transformation finances relationships empowerment begin to study them come up with a timetable and discipline yourself obtain grace i must watch a video concerning spiritual growth i must watch a material that will transform my mind what are you doing now no job what are you doing i'm in a process of transformation you would die there or the person lied the person lied a thousand times content for transformation and you are already on your way getting closer to empowerment empowerment is useless when it comes to a mind that is not transformed this is where we have a lot of reckless use of the anointing i'm saying it with every sense of responsibility there are many young men and women scattered across the body of christ recklessly misusing the anointing you know why because they were not discipled before they were empowered they just brought seeds and met us men of god just because the person got born again and started prophesying does not mean he's a prophet he must sit down in the school of the spirit to be mentored let me tell you this listen to me dear spiritual leaders no matter how charismatic the, the experience of any new convert is he must sit down in the school of the spirit and learn doctrine to be able to administer the gift and the grace of god to him well this premature exaltation of people because of a flamboyant gift is why we keep having casualties are we blessed so just because someone found himself to start prophesying now nobody can talk to him a service can be going on like this for instance and you just stand up i have a word from god and just because some of the words are accurate now no everybody's afraid nobody wants to stop him sit down are you the first to prophesy you sit down and learn doctrine the ability to discipline your gift is proof that you will last with it if you're here and you're already misbehaving on account of spiritual gift don't feel condemned this is the heart of a father talking to you obtain grace to go back because you are closer to deception if you have gift without the word you will not know when you've gone out of the boundary of scripture so we promote people we ordain people we exalt people and you find out that everybody continues to be a student in the school of the spirit but there is a level of maturity through the communication of doctrine when i was a child i spoke like a child i understood like a child i acted like a child and then when you find out that you have contended for transformation you will know that your seasons of appearance is coming because god begins to give you opportunities they will come as trickles lead prayer here do this here you may get a job with people of influence it's not about the job it's that god told you you are esther in the making god told you you are joseph you are daniel in the making so he's using the job as a springboard to take you there look beyond the salary you must understand relationships 
be fruitful means be relational you're a businessman don't just learn how to produce things you must learn how to replenish the security of wealth is in that one word replenish the ability to make what is depleted to come back again until the harvest and the seed time meet themselves in your life then you end the reign of poverty and lack forever and you can now be a blessing to others are you ready to pray our time is gone but we'll take a few minutes i want us to flog it out with destiny as we pray i came with a burden it's a miracle service but more than that my dear people listen to me i desire god sees my heart how that every time i pray for us my desire and my longing is to see that we come into a point of power with god maturity and understanding where the doctrines of scripture are not we are not confused over them koinonia is a global family whether i'm in abuja or i'm here or i'm in us or uk or anywhere across it doesn't mean anything to me it's the same people when a father is visiting his child who is in us or who is in america or who is anywhere they are all his children there's none of his business whether whether or whatever no when i come to zaria or when i'm in abuja or when i'm in anywhere provided is the spiritual family that god has committed my passion remains the same there is no difference as far as it's just it's just organization and expansion that makes it look that way it doesn't mean anything to me at all whether i'm in abuja whether i'm in zaria whether I'm, no no the goal is greater than the location Are you ready to pray salvation is like egg the transformation of a an insect transformation is like lava empowerment is like pupa character and um, humility is like being an adult and then you recycle it back to him again Jesus from the beginning Jesus at the apex of your life what happens when you've won the souls what happens when there are signs and wonders through your hands what happens when the crusades are jammed what happens when your bank account is full of money assets everywhere what happens when there are awards around your table testaments of your impact what happens when a generation says we love you you stand there with nothing else to do from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you jesus that's how men last oh jesus listen to me transformation is powerful but it can become an idol empowerment is powerful it can become an idol ministry can become an idol prosperity can become an idol titles can become an idol apostle joshua selman revelation can become an idol greek hebrew latin the highest proof of transformation is not knowledge is love the highest proof of spiritual maturity is not excellence in, in preaching it's not efficiency in purpose is the health of your relationship with Jesus leave the one for tomorrow you will bring it here and we'll pray but for now I presume that many of us are saved so your next prayer becomes the grace to contend for transformation then empowerment then character and humility then back to Jesus again please lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart Alabara suge de bele ke ti bara. Shamba ma kota samba ma yesi ke. Shamba na to so ka ma da da. Shamba ma 
Are you praying? Lord, I'm at a stage in my walk with you that I desperately need to begin the journey of transformation. Transformation through the ministry of the word. Transformation through the ministry of the spirit. An understanding of doctrine. An understanding of the principles of the kingdom. Some of you have walked with God a while. You need to contend for empowerment. Lord, I'm in a season of my life in ministry, in career, in destiny. I require empowerment, genuine grace from heaven, the power to be called, the power for exploits, the power to be called, the power for exploits, the power to be called. Power to become power for exploits. Hear me. And for some of us here, God has helped us in various ways. Koinonia is a coming together of several people, heads of ministries, churches, prayer group leaders, different ministries here and there. You need to pray humility and character lord let it remain with me let it be like goodness and mercy lift your voice and cry cry before the god of heaven humility i conquer the temptation of pride humility and character Humility and character. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the Holy Ghost is putting two prayer points in my spirit for us to pray. Two of them will pray it in one. The A part of the prayer for someone here listening to me, someone outside. You're going to pray, Lord, why am I here? I'm tired of pretending like I know. I'm tired of acting like I know. My assignment is not just to come here, just give birth, just cool and go around. Lo, I come, he said, in the volume of the book. Can I tell you this? One of the secrets of frustration and high, high blood pressure among young people now. Dr. Anointed is here. There are many doctors here one of the reasons why many young people have high blood pressure is because you see there is frustration when there is stagnation in your life everybody finds fulfillment on the strength of progress are we together now it's a fundamental psychological requirement in men they need to know that their lives are counting they need to know their lives are making a difference a sense of destiny that's why when people find anything organized good or bad they want to be part of it whether it's a violence whether they want a sense of purpose even if it will just last one week nobody wants to live their lives knowing that they are just loitering around i live a very fulfilled life going to bed many times tired but happy and fulfilled waking up with joy in my heart because i know when you find your place in life it doesn't have to be ministry as we know but you must find your place in life 
you find tremendous joy and fulfillment in plenty or in little are we blessed lord why am i here i don't want to waste the remaining days in futility and then the b part listen to me some of you already have the universal picture i've done lots of teachings in time past what you call destiny or your assignment is broken into seasons with mandates attached to them every season has an emphasis the next prayer point for those of us who have a whole okay i know i'm in ministry i know i'm this some of you are serving in this ministry you are going to pray lord what is the assignment for the next season listen it is dangerous to not know when seasons have ended in your life you will be roaming around and yet a new door has opened lift your voice and pray these two prayer points an inquiry a search are you praying Oh, I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus. Reveal the blueprint of my destiny, the blueprint of my assignment, knowing also that my fulfillment is tied to it, my relevance in the kingdom is tied to it, my joy is tied to it. Show me, open up the blueprint of my destiny with precision and clarity. And then pray, Lord, this is a new season. Reveal to me. Show me the assignment. Show me my place for the new season. To him who sits on the road and on to the land. To him who sits on the road and on to the land. Keep praying. To him who sits on the throne and on to the land. Jesus in the name of Jesus now please listen please listen I want you tonight to take this teaching as an assignment go and get a notebook and sit down with destiny get my teaching the last time I was here on decisions the Thursday before the miracle service you can get it immediately the media is there they can direct you give you the links and you can get it directly get it don't be lazy it's selfishness to be lazy get a notebook and sit down flog it out with destiny lord why am i here it's a question you must keep asking for everyone that asketh receiveth to him that seeks he will find and to him that knocks the door will be opened 
you do not know fulfillment till you find your place in destiny are we together tomorrow is a miracle service just a few hours away again we are going to be giving God room to move upon our land in power and in grace I'm so delighted coming here Minister Prosper will be with us tomorrow. It's going to be an extensive time of worship. But listen to me. I want you to make this miracle service one of your most intentional one yet. Especially for the workers. Don't just plan holding cameras, singing. Wonderful. But I want you to go and sit down and think. Lord, I'm coming with hearts open. Remember Acts chapter 3 verse 5 four and five let that be a scripture for you look on us means pay attention and be attentive expecting to receive come with your heart open write your prayer request with understanding and then come ready to receive come ready to be healed come ready to be changed invite everybody around you your loved ones who are far let them connect and then you can receive their prayer request more importantly beyond the prayer request they need to hear you, you see what happened in in samaria seeing and hearing seeing and hearing faith comes by hearing if people just submit prayer requests alone and they don't hear they will not grow they will receive miracles they don't have the maturity and the understanding to maintain and they will be a burden to you because satan will keep coming to steal the word it's not fortified by knowledge are we together and then I want you to make a renewed commitment from tonight that you will be a student of scripture go and get the teachings there are so many teachings just from last year into this year if you sit with koinonia teachings from last year to this year sincerely they will transform you in ways that you will not imagine all the years are there but I mean most of them have been refined presented with greater understanding get some of the external ministrations they are there a data for next to nothing less than what some of us take in one day for a meal settle with the truth no excuses and be a student of scripture don't just listen while you are sleeping and you wake up no get up with a notebook and sit down as though a lecturer were teaching you your destiny is worth that sacrifice are we blessed so tomorrow what time tomorrow starts by five five on the dot by god's grace we're starting so that we can have the time to minister please come with your heart hungry and come with holy anger anger angry in your spirit lord this ought not to be so everything that is not a planting of god some of you are in ministry will be doing an impartation tomorrow come with your heart hungry and desperate lord there are graces i have seen but there are others i have not seen for some of you, you may say that I need higher levels of the same grace. Come with your heart hungry. Tomorrow is a feast of fastings and the Lord will grant us that grace. But for tonight, let me quickly please, no movement around. Let's just honor this. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, whilst hearing you, I could describe myself that I've not even started that journey because I'm yet to make Jesus Lord of my life. You're outside overflow one, the overflow there, following online, you are in here. Please, I'm going to count one to three just for sake of time. I want you to be very bold and intentional. Or you are here, you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Please leave your seat very quickly. Overflow one and the main auditorium, you can come out and stand here. Overflow three for sake of time, just move to your projector screen. Let's honor them as they take this bold step. Please stand up. Please stand up come god bless you god bless you god bless you i really want to worship you my lord you have won my heart and i am yours forever and ever keep coming i will love you you are the only one who died for me gave your life to set me free so I lift my hands to you in adoration. I still believe there are a few more people the Holy Ghost is speaking to. 
to come and join you're outside don't say we came in group this is a personal affair win that war tonight god bless you i'm about to pray you're joining them quickly come stand come stand you're welcome it's a family of faith that will always receive you in jesus name amen thank you thank you a big thank you to all of you who are here you have come as proof that you love jesus rebels don't run away don't come to jesus they run away so that you have come is proof that you are not a rebel young and old the lord bless you lift your right hand those at the odd overflow lift your hands too likewise those following online watching from whatever platform and whatever device you can just lift your hands to jesus in the comfort of your home your office wherever you're following and let's make this declaration with understanding jesus is here please repeat after me with understanding say lord jesus i love you and i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i declare that you are my lord you are my savior you are my king i receive your life into my spirit and i receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that from today i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious people thank you for the grace that saves thank you for the grace that builds i commend them oh god to the ministry of the word i commend them to the ministry of the holy spirit i decree and declare that let this be the beginning of an experience that will lead to your maturity your excelling in life as you serve the purposes of the kingdom with your life may you find joy may you find relevance in the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed. You go from glory to glory and from grace to grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you now. Um, there's a gentleman waving his hands. There are some officials who will see you. They will hand over a card to you and just appraise you for a few minutes and you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Please, all of you in concert, celebrate them as they go. Overflow 3, just follow those leading you. And those online, you can let us know that you just met Jesus. God bless you. Are you celebrating them, Koinonia? We believe you are mightily blessed. To connect with the ministry and get more from Apostle Joshua Selman, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Koinonia ENI to stream Koinonia Live. Go, Go to mixella.com forward slash koinonia hyphen radio and download the teachings on koinonia downloads.org. For questions and inquiries, call 0814 721 4444 or 0907 777 7853. We love and celebrate you.